Hi, I'm Dr. Ratna and welcome back to the channel. Today, we are going to be talking about children with cerebral palsy and their hips. This information is of importance to all caregivers for children with cerebral palsy. And we'll soon understand why proactively diagnosing and managing these issues in time can lead to a better outcome. So keep watching. So cerebral palsy affects the ability of the brain to control the muscles and the muscle imbalance in turn starts to affect the joints. In children with cerebral palsy, the concern is that the hip can slowly migrate or dislocate out of its cup or socket. The hip is one of the most common joints to get affected. 15 to 20 percent of all children with cerebral palsy can develop hip dislocation if not prevented. The problem here is that this condition is often silent or even if pain is present, children are unable to communicate due to problems with speech or other communication difficulties. It can affect the way the child walks, runs, it can cause difficulties even with sitting or caregiving like diaper changes, toileting. It can affect the quality of sleep as well. It is a common condition with severe consequences, but it can be preventable to a degree if caught in time. The way this condition is monitored is through a hip surveillance program. So what is hip surveillance? Simply put, hip surveillance is a plan for regular checkup to watch for signs that your child's hip may be slowly moving out of the socket. The way this is done is through a hip x-ray. And on the x-ray, we have a very specific measure called the migration percentage. It measures how much the hip is out of its socket. We look for whether this measure is improving or deteriorating over a period of time. Action needs to be taken at the correct time. Taking part in hip surveillance program allows your child's healthcare team with early identification, thus offering simpler treatments and better outcomes. So who is hip surveillance important for? Your child is at risk of hip displacement if he or she has been diagnosed with cerebral palsy or even suspected to have the diagnosis of cerebral palsy. When does hip surveillance start? Whether diagnosed or suspected, surveillance should preferably be beginning at the age of two years. How often will your child need to be examined and have x-ray done? The answer to this question depends upon your child's ability to walk. The better the ability to walk, the lower the risk of hip displacement. Children with lesser or no ability to walk have a higher risk of hip displacement. Children with a higher risk often require six monthly x-rays, at least in the initial years. The frequency of x-rays can be decreased once the hip is found to be stable over a period of time. So when does hip surveillance stop? Hip displacement can occur while children and youth are growing. So the higher the risk of hip displacement, the better it is to be in a hip surveillance program, at least till an x-ray determines that the bony growth has been completed. Hips migrating out of the socket can further deteriorate the quality of life in these children. We want to develop a system by which 
we can identify these problems early so that they can be managed without surgery or with surgery of a lesser magnitude. Once out, the hip may be too damaged to put back in the socket. I sincerely hope that this information is of value to all caregivers of children with cerebral palsy so that we can help save their hips and their quality of life. Thank you.